Uh, I have um, bought myself another lathe, an Emco Maximat standard. And as you can see, I'm comparing this to a Myford. Um, one thing that struck me when I it is just uh, cleaned up a little bit with diesel actually, but one thing that struck me while wrestling with the parts and especially with the bed is a heavy structure, uh, cross ribbing and everything here. Although it is bigger, I must say I am, I am impressed with the build quality here. I'm not that an expert in castings, but I can see that there are a lot of different nice details um, also when compared with the Myford which I thought was was a very nice casting actually this Austrian made Emco is even better so comparing the different can see the size difference and also the the build difference uh, this has a uh, mount for uh, a milling attachment and it's also a flat a flat top Um, but uh, this is one of the older beds I have, which uh, is, as you can see, a little bit different than the Emco here. So we can also play a little game here and we can mount some accessories. Now I mounted the two headstocks together. So you can see the difference there. This is of course a, a uh, ball bearing design and it has a spindle that you can move back and forward like a drill press or a milling uh, spindle really which is, is meant to be also when used with a milling column here you can actually take off the head or have a, a, a double set of heads and then mount and use this as a spindle for milling um, quite robust but still I guess a little bit flimsy and you can see the open um, cut casting here to uh, to nip it down on the bearings this is uh, the driving mechanism of course so if we add the saddles here the myford saddle and the table and the same here on the emco um, design differences are quite apparent of course it's it's a little bit bigger lathe And uh, also on this side a stock faceplate which I have to take off. Um, well, difference.